This week, our hero of progress is John Snow, a 19th century physician often considered the founder of epidemiology. John Snow was born in 1813 in York, England. Snow was exceptionally bright, and at age 14, he became a doctor's apprentice. In 1844, he received his doctorate in medicine and began working as a surgeon and general practitioner. While Snow achieved early success as an anesthetist, eventually even administering chloroform to Queen Victoria, his most important work came after a series of cholera outbreaks in London. At the time, most physicians thought cholera was caused by air pollution. However, Snow reasoned that if the disease spread by air, the first symptoms should appear in the nose or lungs. But after examining many patients, Snow noticed that their first symptoms were nearly always digestive, suggesting that the disease spread through food or water. In 1854, after a cholera outbreak in Soho, London, Snow discovered that 61 of the 73 victims had drunk water from a single pump that was drawing water from the River Thames. Snow then plotted the cholera cases on a map of the area to highlight the correlation. While the public health authorities were unconvinced by Snow's argument, they agreed to shut the pump down and the local cholera outbreak quickly ended. Today, Snow's clever use of data and maps is considered a major breakthrough in public health. However, his contemporaries remained unimpressed, arguing that the Thames was large enough to dilute any waterborne poison. Snow's work was eventually vindicated in the 1860s when Louis Pasteur proved the germ theory of disease. Tragically, Snow died from a stroke in 1858 at just 45 years old. Snow's innovative methods provided a foundation for modern epidemiology and have been used to quell many potentially catastrophic outbreaks, likely saving millions of lives. For these reasons, John Snow is our 45th Hero of Progress.